The use of a reverse cross finger flap to cover dorsal defects of the digit. In this case, the patient had a recurrent squamous cell carcinoma excised with a Mohs technique. She wanted to keep the full length of her finger, and therefore a reverse cross finger flap is planned. Full thickness skin graft is harvested from the groin region, but can also be harvested from the hypothenar region or the volar aspect of the wrist. The graft is defatted and perforated with an 18 gauge needle to improve the take of the graft. A flap is designed from the ring finger and will be harvested with a skin flap that will now have an ulnar base. This will be harvested sharply with a 15 scalpel elevating the skin with the dermis and epidermis. The middle finger is prepared and now a flap of peritinon, subcutaneous fat, and dorsal veins is then harvested using these uh, microsurgical scissors. The peritinon flap is then rotated in position and sutured into place with bioabsorbable sutures. Once this flap has been sutured in place, it is then possible to close the donor site by suturing the skin flap back into position with nylon sutures. As the final stage in the procedure, the full thickness skin graft will then be sutured onto the flap of peritinon, subcutaneous tissue, and dorsal veins. The fingers are stabilized together with a Kirshner wire to minimize tension on the flap. The recipient site is then closed by suturing the skin flap back into position. We will use the full thickness skin graft also sutured into place with absorbable sutures and then a dorsal bolster will be applied to maintain pressure over the skin graft site to improve the take of the graft. The tourniquet will be released and bleeding vessels control with bipolar cautery. A compressive dressing will be applied with a dorsal bolster to improve the take of the flap. The flap will be ultimately divided surgically two to three weeks after the initial application.